Hey everybody, you know, it's hard to believe that Christmas is just around the corner. It's a special time where everybody gathers around their TV to find that special holiday movie that just makes you feel good inside and brings that holiday cheer. Well, I've got something to wash the taste of that good cheer out of your mouth. Rare Exports, A Christmas Tale, is a 2010 Finnish horror fantasy movie directed by Jelmari Haylander. The film is set on a bleak and snowy landscape between the borders of Finland and Russia. It's here where we meet a local group of reindeer herders whose income is being threatened because their reindeer are being killed by a mysterious force. It turns out that excavations are being done on a mountain nearby the village. Take a wild guess as to who is doing the excavations and blowing up the mountain. Americans, damn it. Yeah, we just liberated that mountain. We liberated the shit out of that mountain. Boom. 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 America. The local herders believe that the blasts are causing wolves to move into the area, thus killing the reindeer. A young boy by the name of Pitari. Pitari? Pitari. Fuck it. Let's just go with it. Pitari isn't worried about all this bleakness stuff. I mean, although his reindeer herding dad might be stressing out how to provide for his family, Pitari's got better things to worry about, like researching Santa Claus. You see, he believes in Santa. He comes up with this theory about the mountain and all the dead reindeer. Pitari and a friend sneak onto the blast site. They discover that Pitari's theories are correct. Turns out the Americans are actually digging up Santa Claus from an ancient prison. This isn't your bowl full of jelly, cheery, ho, 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 Santa Claus. Hell no. We are talking about a monstrous, evil, feral Santa Claus who was in prison because he liked to kill kids for fun. Oh, oh, holy shit, are you serious? Now because the Americans dug up Santa Claus, he's on the loose with his weird, murderous, naked elves. We've got a town full of butchers who sell meat, and the kids are walking around carrying rifles, for God's sakes, without any pants on. These townspeople are tough, and they're gonna take shit from anybody, especially some weird naked elf. As the movie unfolds, we meet a villainous scientist who hired the Americans to excavate Santa from his prison. So why would he want to dig up Santa Claus? Hmm. So that he can be rich and famous and have all the glory that goes with it? Hmm. Sounds about right. So the locals come up with a plan. They catch Santa in a wolf trap and hold him for ransom to recoup all the reindeer that they lost during the excavation. You got to get paid, baby. It's kind of sick, but hey, scientist dude was kind of a dick. I got to say there are some slow parts, but the action really picks up at the end of the movie. So being a Christmas movie, of course you're gonna have a happy ending. However, there is a twist and it's even more bizarro than the rest of this film. I'm not gonna give anything away and I'm not gonna spoil anything for you guys, but let's just say the end of the movie really ties into the name of the movie, Rare Exports. So if you like your humor extra black and you think Santa is pretty much Satan, then this is the Christmas movie that you've been waiting for. Some people think it's kind of weird. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it's got subtitles, so if you can get past that, then you're golden. I gave it five naked elves out of five. Give it a shot. Hey, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a happy holiday. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, this is Geek Eclectic Reviews. I'm Stu. We'll see you next time. <laughs>